In the previous lecture, we talked about the velocity of mass transfer. Now, velocity has a, a lot of, let's say, measurements. The most common one will be a distance over a certain amount of time. But we need to define flux. Flux is pretty similar to molar flow, in which you have a certain amount of moles moving at certain velocity. But the difference is that now you're going to define an area. Typically, we can have an area of one meter per second, and the time we will assume is one second. So the flux will tell us how much amount of material is moving in one meter square per second. It's defined as the rate of transport of species I per unit area in the direction normal to transport. So that's very important, always normal to transport. If we are moving in a pipe from left to right, then the actual flux that we care about is the one that goes from left to right. The flux is calculated with respect to a fixed reference frame. We already talked about that. Another convenient expression, which is more mathematical, is the flux of the I species will be equal to the concentration, which is mole per volume times the velocity, which will be assumed to be uh, meter per time. So volume can be meter to the third power. If you check this out, you cancel this and you get mole per meter to the second power divided by time, which is what we were telling you. This is one meter, this is one second, and this is the interesting part, x mole of a. Relates velocity and concentration instead of mass flow per unit area. So, okay, mass flow is also important. Mass flux also exists, but for now, let's use molar flux. But in a system, since several molecular species move with a different average velocity, so that's important. Remember the example I was telling you before that molecules are crazy moving through all the pipe, not only from left to right. Actually, what we measure is the bulk velocity, but the individual velocities are kind of hard to calculate. Uh, the important part is that a frame of moving reference must be chosen, and we already know which one is. The important moving reference are mass average, or the one that we're going to be talking the most, molar average right here. Ignore volume average velocities. Right now, stick to molar average. Imagine moving a bottle inside a car. Well, okay, these examples we already know, but if you're inside a car which is moving at 60 kilometers per hour, which should be something around 40 miles per hour, uh, and if you move a bottle inside that car at one meter per second, which is about three feet per second, uh, would you say that the bottle is moving at one meter per second or at 60 kilometers per second uh, per hour? Well, the important part, if we are measuring this, will be, well, technically for me, it's moving only at one meter per second. And more importantly, in mass transfer, we need that. We need to get rid of all the velocity noises. We need to get to the actual movement of mass transport. Okay, so that's what I wanted to tell you. What is flux? And in the following one, you will see that we have JA. So that's very interesting. Actually, let's go in the next lecture and check what is this.